did you do today? I learned today. You learned, what did you learn? Um, I learned many subjects. Mm, seems like you're busy today. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. Okay, and what do you have for dinner? I have a rice and meat and a soup and vegetable. Mm, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, and um, how about the weather today? How is it? It is uh, sunny today. Oh. Um, no, 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 it's rainy today. Rainy. Oh, that's also same here. <laughs> it's rainy too. Yeah. Is it still rainy outside or not at all? Not at all. Okay. But is it cold? I don't go outside, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, so you didn't go outside. So you didn't know what's the condition of the weather tonight yes <laughs> okay i, I think it's cold oh yes okay so here too it's cold i guess we have the same weather okay well anyways tonight we're going to continue to study your book so uh please wait for a while okay all right so here it is Can you see your book? Okay. Okay. Yes, I can see my book. So we're going to talk about the desert. Okay. So let's try to know more about it. Okay. Learn about the desert weather and about the desert's plants and animals. And we, all, we will also learn in this unit about things that are alike and different. And we'll try to... Uh, ask questions about things that happen and let we will talk and uh, read stories as well okay this is what will happen in this chapter okay so anyways what can you see in the desert i can see a lizard a cactus people riding llama and a snake okay that's it that's correct. So are these just things that we can see in the desert or are there still more? Yes. Okay, you guess so. All right, and what animals can live there? They can be, they can be a lizard, a snake, or a llama can live there. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. And maybe probably there are also some scorpions. Yes. Yes. That can leave there, the big ones. <laughs> okay. Yes. So if you're given a chance to go in the desert, uh, what will you do there? They take sand or leave there. Oh, you want to leave there? No, I don't live there. <laughs> okay. I don't go to, I didn't go to there, but I think the people live there. Oh, so Some you people think... live there. Yeah, there are. There are people living there. Yes. Uh, and um, they are also people, but I think not much. Just a yes. few. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so let's try to choose a question and uh, share the information with your class. Okay, so let's try to answer what is the weather like in a desert? It's sunny and it's so hot. It's hot, it's sunny and dry, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't, don't have water yes uh they have but just not too much mm. yes okay and what is la uh, what is the land like in a desert so the land is many sand many sand uh, yes, not sand. not good for transportation mm -hmm. okay not good for transportation 
Yes. And of course, it's also very dangerous if there is a sandstorm, right? Yes. So if there's a sandstorm, um, it will destroy the whole uh, place. Yes. Okay. It can destroy the whole place. That's right. And what is a cactus? It's a plant. It's a plant. Um, uh, can be small or large. Okay. Does it have thorns? Yes. Yes. They, they long. They, they big. They can big or they can small. Oh, they can be big or small. Yes, but um, they live in deserts. That's right. They can live in desert or in a place which is very hot. Yes, because yes. they need more sunlight. Okay. And what do the animals do when it is hot? They fight water and drink. When? Yes, they fight water and drink. Or they, they make home in there. They... They do, they hunt. Oh, they hunt. Yes, they hunt foods. Yes, for them yes. to survive. Eat. Yes, and eat. That's right. Okay. And where are they going to get some water? They can get some water in wait. Okay, sure. In the I in the island. In an island, okay. So a desert is a desert an island? No, what is um wait? Okay. Let me think. Yeah, sure. It's an oasis. Sorry. Oasis. Oasis. Oh, I yes, see. Oasis. That's right. Okay, and of course, um, sometimes animals, uh, just like uh, probably some camels, yeah, they'll just drink water, and they have to, uh, how do I call it? They have to scratch from the ground. Yes, because there are a lot of water yes. um, deep in the ground. So they are going, they're going to find in there. Okay, so now okay. let's find out. So this map shows the deserts of the world. Now, what continent do you live in? Is there a desert on that continent? And then find these deserts. Which continent are they in? Okay, so okay. let's try. Okay, so I'll just read the desert's name. First is the Atacama Desert. Next, Sahara Desert. Next, Sonoran Desert and the Gobi Desert. Okay, so let's try. Uh, where can we find the Atacama Desert? Ian. Me, I fight. I live in Asia. It, it have a desert in that continent. It, that is a Gobi Desert. Okay, that's in Asia. Yes. So in Asia, we can find the Gobi Desert. So Asia. Okay. How about uh, the three one? Atacama, Sahara, and Sonoran. Atacama is South America. Okay. Okay. South America. Yes. Sahara Desert is Sahara Desert is in Africa. Okay, that's correct. And Sonoran? 
Sonoran is in North America. North. Okay, are you familiar with these deserts? I need the familiar of Atacana del Sonoran Desert. I know about Sahara Desert and Gobi Desert. Oh, okay, I see. So these two, Atacama Desert and Sonoran Desert, are not very common. Yes, because it can it is found in South and North America. So the most common one is Sahara Desert and the Gobi Desert. So Gobi de Desert is what we can found in our continent in Asia. Yes, that's right. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So now which desert is the largest desert? The largest uh, is, is Sahara Desert. Mm, okay, Sahara is the largest. Have you seen the Sahara Desert? In no. The picture? I see in the picture, but I the uh, in reality it didn't go there. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, me too. <laughs> because Africa is too far in our country, and I guess in your country yes. too. <laughs> Okay, and which desert has the tallest cactus? I think it's... I don't know. Okay, let's find out. Um, I, I know, I know. It's Atacama Desert. Mm, so it has uh, Atacama Desert. So it has the largest or the tallest Cactus. Oh, yes. how tall could it be? <laughs> I think it's six meter to mm. fifteen meter. Oh, that's so tall. <laughs> I if I try to imagine it, it's bigger than a human <laughs> or a person. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay, so that would be very amazing if we can witness and we can see in person, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Another one. Which desert is wetter? The Atacama <laughs> Desert or the Sonoran Desert? Uh, let me know. Okay, sure. I think it's... I don't know. <laughs> okay. So it's either the two. Okay, let's try to find out. Okay, wait. Mm. Oh, where am I? Okay, so which desert is wetter? Okay, so actually the wetter desert is the Sonoran Desert. Yeah, it's the Sonoran Desert. Imagine that. Uh, among the four desert, the Sonoran is wetter. <laughs> so I just knew that there is a wet desert. <laughs> I guess it's just a dry desert. <laughs> yes, I yeah. think so. Okay, that's unique. All right, another one. Which desert is colder in winter? Gobi or I Sahara? Think, I think it's Gobi. Oh, it is. The Gobi Desert. That's right. Okay. So, anyways, all right. Everything that you said was correct. Now, let's find the correct ending uh, for each sentence. Mm -hmm. So, we'll use all, many, and a few. All right. So, can you please read the okay. sentence? All desert, all cold, cold deserts, many deserts are dry. A, f a few desert are, um, can I say again? All okay. desert are, many desert are, a few desert are. Cold, cold desert, dry, hard burning in the day, but cold at night. Okay, so let's try uh, to connect uh, the correct yes. ending. Mm. 
So let's say all deserts are. No. Are. All deserts are dry. Correct. Uh, uh, many deserts are. Many deserts are hot during the day. A, a cold during the what cold at night. Okay. Are hot during the day. And I uh, sorry. Uh, but cold at night. Okay. A few deserts are. A few deserts are calling a uh, cold, cold deserts. Yes, only a few, not many. All right, yes. deserts, correct. All right, so that's it. Okay, so we have learned today about the deserts. Okay, that there are some or there are a few deserts that aren't uh, dry because uh, there are some that are cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what okay. other words mean the same as many? Mm -hmm. What other okay. words mean as the same as many? The yeah. same as many is, uh, is a lot. A lot, that's correct. Okay, so a lot of um, animals is seen. Okay, so that's right. Any other or just that one? Lots. Lots. Lots of. Okay, that yes, could, lots of. that's right. Okay, so anyways, let's go to uh, this activity or the word study. So we measure temperature in degrees, right? So as you can see here, this unit is what we call degrees. So negative 10 degrees. All right. So that's how you are going to read the temperature. Okay. Do you have a temperature at home? Yes. Yes. You use that if you're sick. Okay. Or what's your temperature? That's important. So let's try to uh, okay. let's try to know uh, what's the temperature like today. Okay. Just try to see. guess. Mm -hmm. Because if it's cold, it's uh, already in the negative part. If it's cool, it's just in 10 degrees or in 15, when it's warm, it's 20 degrees. So it's a little bit cold, okay? And hot, that's 30 to 40 degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, just try to guess what's the temperature um, in your place. I don't see because it's high. Oh. Uh, you mean to say what kind of high? Is it hot or cool? No, uh, my uh, temperature, my uh, like a temperature is high, uh, so I cannot see. I can oh. see in the um, in the computer. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, if you're just trying. Uh, try to guess what is the temperature. Can you try? I think I think it's twenty. I think it's twenty or twenty one, twenty two. Mm, so it's warm. The temperature yes. is warm. Oh, okay. Actually, in our country, right, or in our place right now, um, it says that it's twenty six degrees. Yes. We are in 26 okay. degrees, so I guess it's more warmer <laughs> than your place. Yeah, yours yes. is warmer. Okay, so that's how you determine degrees. Okay, now this time, let's guess or let's learn about the desert animals. Okay, what do okay. you know about camels? I know 
so that people can uh, write in that and it and it uh, can live without a dr drinking water in one week exactly right okay and what parts of a camel's body can you name it, she is a hump uh -huh. mm -hmm. i can know that yes that's right okay i guess you know what is a camel uh-huh all right so yes. let's learn more about it okay since they live in the desert okay so can you please read okay okay camels camels live in the desert africa of africa asia and australia They carry people and things across the desert. A uh, camel eats a lot of food and drinks a lot of water. A food is star hard as fast as the hump and camel's, camel's back. As a camel cross the desert, it is a fat, it is hump as food and water. The camel can live a week. A more without drinking water. At the beginning of a trip, the camel humps is big and fat. At the end of the trip, the hump is much smaller. Mm, why do you think it's getting smaller? Because they cannot uh, earn more fat. Mm, Don't yes. eat. Yes, because it's already um uh the the foods or yes the water that they drink during the time that they travel is already finished yes so that's why at the end of the trip it's getting smaller okay so anyways that's about the camels here yeah i mean you were right you that uh they can live for about a week without um water yes drinking water all right so yes. they also we can also name their body parts so we have the long so, yeah. long neck long okay. eye splash uh, eyelashes with, yes eyelashes a long neck mm -hmm. Lips with thick skin, mm -hmm. long legs, white round feet, mm -hmm. a hump. Okay, so yes, we have six parts. Okay, that is introduced here. Okay, so um, if you're going to uh, see the camel personally, you can see that they have the long lashes. Okay, eyelashes. We call it eyelashes. All right. And they also have thick lips. Yes. And uh, I mean, thick skin with the lips. Okay, just like a giraffe, they also have a long neck. Okay. And okay. wide round feet. And yes, a hump. Okay, so now okay. let's try to go to language tip. So... When we say one camel, that's why we use it, okay? Okay, it is for used for animals or things. Mm -hmm. And a camel can run fast. Oh, which do you think is faster, a cheetah or a camel? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Which yes. do you think is um faster, a cheetah or a camel? Is a camel. Oh, so you think the camel can run faster than the cheetah? Oh, I think a cheetah is run faster than the camel. Yes, it is. That's right. Okay, and it can run as fast as a horse. Oh, so they just have the same uh, velocity with the horse. 
Yes, the horse and the camel just the same. Okay, and next is when we say more than one animal or thing, that's why we use they. Mm -hmm. They. So camels live in the desert. They don't need much water. Mm. So they can live for a week without water. Yes. Okay, so do you have okay. any questions? I don't have any questions. Okay, good. So let's try to talk. A camel's body is built for living on a dry, hot, windy desert. So let's look at the picture and ask questions. Why does a camel have... Okay, so these are some answers. Okay, so okay. You, yes, you ask a question and I'm going to find the answers right here. Okay. Okay. They keep the camel's body from the hot sand. It helps the camel reach leave on tall trees. They help a camel walk in on top of the sand. They keep set up. Out of the camel's eyes is store fast fat for that where is no food or water. They help the camel eat spidey desert plants. Okay, so that's uh for the body parts. Yes. So let's say for example, why does a camel have uh lips with oh lips with the thick skin? I think it's to protect the, the, the heart from the uh, desert. Mm -hmm. To protect the, uh, the weather of the desert because it's hot. Or, okay, they, uh, they help the camel eat the spiny desert plants, right? So the plants in the desert are spiny. So that's why they have a thick skin. Okay. Okay. Another one is why do camel or why does a camel have long eyelashes? I uh, I think they keep sand out of camel's eyes. Okay, they keep sand out of the camel's eyes because there's a lot of sand, right? Okay. Yes. If you're trying to imagine, if you don't have eyelashes, <laughs> can you imagine that? If you don't have eyelashes, what will happen to you? I have many, many dust. <laughs> yes, dust. Ah, uh, that's correct. And it's easy for the dust or the sand to go inside your eyes. So just like the camel, they have the long eyelashes. Okay, next. Uh, why does a camel have a wide round feet? Because they help the if it helps the camel reach. Uh, no, it, they help the camel walk on top of the sand that's correct so that's why that's the reason why um they have a uh, wide round feet because they travel a lot right uh, it's not just traveling in a near place but it's far yes it's a far place so that's why they need a wide round feet Okay, so do you have any questions about uh, desert um, animals? No, no, I don't have any questions. That's good. Okay, so it seems like you understand the lesson today. Okay, so well, let's just continue everything in our next class. And thank you so much for having me tonight. Okay, and see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.